This isn't unique hedge trimming done at the hands of a gardener. Deer actually ate this hedge into this mushroom shaped formation. And this Penticton trailer park is fed up with it. They're heading to city council next week to demand action from city and ask for a call. All over Figueroa's mobile home park, you see signs of a slow moving battle with urban deer. Hedges are caged and the ground is covered in droppings. So on Tuesday, the newly elected city council will hear about an old Penticton problem. 96 of 117 homes in the park want an immediate solution, says one of the men leading the delegation to City Hall next week. It's the uh, damage to the trees and damage to the flowers. Our main concern now is the, uh, the health factor of the droppings from the deer and, uh, you know, the older people in the park and the immune systems get down and uh, we've done a lot of research uh, and paperwork from universities in the states about, you know, they're not the cute bambies. The park is surrounded in high fences and backs onto an oxbow, so deer are protected from predators and are living their whole lives within the park. Three born behind our place here and the mothers, I don't know, they probably were here before. So they're, this is their, their territory. And you, all you do is just chase them from one neighbor to the other neighbor and back. And it's not fair to the deer. The deer don't have no other places to go. And they're eating stuff that they normally wouldn't eat in the wild. We, all we want is, to, when we go to the city, is uh, for them, because they have to apply for a permit for a call. And that's principally what we want. We want a call, and, uh, and uh, if they get the permit, then between the city and us they can give us the permit we've done research we met yesterday with the wildlife people so it's up to the city to to look at this uh, you know we're not they've already been approached for about two or three years about this as far as the citywide the previous council that heard the urban deer issue had no desire to take any action but residents are hopeful new council will take a different stance for castanet in penticton i'm colin dacre